Hello everyone, welcome to Crystal Point. My name is Lyndon and today I'm going to be showing you how to be able to play Final Fantasy trading card game online. Now, I've been using this software myself and a lot of other people have for a while now, but some people still don't know how to use it, how to download it, where to get it from. Uh, so this, guy, this is going to turn out to be a guide as to where to get the software from, how to download it, how to navigate it, what you need to do to set up a game, and then finally how to actually use the software during a game. So this is going to be split up into two parts. The first part will be dedicated to actually getting the software running, getting it uh, how you want it, how you will navigate it, and how to prepare a deck. And then the second part will be more about the actual game itself, how how the controls work, what shortcuts you can use that will be helpful to you, and anything else like that. So if you really enjoy this uh, video guys and it really does help you then please leave a like, if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe, and without further ado let's try and get on with it. Okay everyone, so what you want to do is you want to go to this site, octgn.net or octagon. Uh, this is the platform we're going to be using. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's not. This isn't just for Final Fantasy. It has a number of games that have been coded into it. So it, you may even find this useful if you're going to set up Magic: The Gathering, Cards Against Humanity, anything like that. But for today, we're going to be we're going to be uh, targeting Final Fantasy. So what you want to do is uh, go to this website. It will be in the link in the description below. Hit the download button. And now, this is uh, important. As far as, as the time of this video. Mac does not work at the moment as far as I'm aware. Uh, if it does work or it does become available then please, uh, if someone knows then please leave a comment below so people are aware. So what you have to do is just download this and it's, it's only a very short download, only uh, only 9 megabytes, not very much but my internet's very slow so it does take a little bit while for me. So this is the installation window, it's very easy to do, just press install. You, you could get rid of all the shortcuts if you want to but uh, to me I don't see a reason why you would. Uh, unless you just want a really clean um, look on your desktop, but you can always uh, delete the shortcut later on. While while it is installing, you can quickly register. Uh, you will require you are, will be required to register at some point to be able to actually play the game. So you may as well do it sooner than later, because once you get into the program, you will um, need to log in at some point. So all you have to do here: create create a username, do a password, use an email address. As long as you're over the age of 13, it shouldn't be a problem. And then just verify yourself with I'm not a robot. Okay guys, so this is going to be pretty much what you're going to be with. It might be a, a smaller window, uh, like so, but I've just maximised it so you can see it all a bit better. Uh, you will be wel have a welcome screen maybe of all the news and uh, be allowed to register or sign in. Uh, once you sign in you will have the community chat up here no longer greyed out so you can talk to other users and you will also be able to play games. So I'm just going to sign in now just so uh, you're, you can see what the community chat will look like. And there it is. So now that I'm logged in, this is the uh, community chat. As you can see, quite a few users. They won't all be from Final Fantasy, but when people have got a new game on, they might yeah, might want to chat, see if anyone's uh, up for a game. So if you, all these are little tabs here that you will... Uh, a lot of them you won't use, but a couple of them you will. The one you'll use mostly will be Play or Spectate. So at the moment there is just one one game available and that's Game of Thrones that's been set up. Now if you press the start button you create a room and that allows people to join into your game and then once you uh, once you have all the people you need then you can just start the game up. It's quite very quite easy. Uh, it'll be shown on part two just to get the just to get the ball rolling. So how do you actually install Final Fantasy the card game into this program, right? So if you just go over to this this uh, tab here called Games Manager and you'll see there's a massive list of all these uh, games that have been coded in. Um, there's the Final Fantasy one. All you have to do is just click onto it and press install. Uh, I already have this installed, so it should be uh, should look like that. Just a little green install button. Very simple. And once you've installed it, it should already, it should be added. So whenever you go to play a game, it should come up with the option for Final Fantasy the card game. Very simple. So uh, when you first install the game. Uh, what you'll notice if you decided to go straight into a deck editor or straight into a game is there is no images for the cards and you might think well that's, that's a bit rubbish why can't I? Uh, the reason you have to do that is you have to manually add the Im image packs so uh, for when new sets come out you'll have to just add the image packs and it's very simple to do uh, all you have to do is press this button here once, you're, once you've got highlighted uh, Final Fantasy TCG just press add image packs and then you you're treated to uh, your Windows Explorer, 
just find uh, just find the file on downloads, and then just press open, and it should install the images for you. Uh, so where do you, where do you go to get the images? Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to all the uh, image packs that should be available for Octagon for Final Fantasy. So all you do is just go into there, go into the website, press all, just download everything, just download all the image packs, and then just one by one, press image image, add image packs, go to your downloads uh, folder, and then press install, uh, press open, and it should install it all for you. So now you've got the game installed, now you've got the image packs for all the cards, now how do you actually make a deck to actually play with? Okay, so if you press uh, this tab up top here called Deck Editor, it should pop up with another window like this. Uh, you can cancel this, you can close this window and it will not close this one over here. So if you're worried about that, don't worry about that. Uh, you are able to adjust this window very easily just by dragging at the bottom right here. So if you want to get more detail on the individual cards. So, Say, for example, I wanted the Warrior of Light. There we are, there's your image from the image pack that you have downloaded. You can delete them if you want, uh, but I don't know why you would ever delete the image once you've got it downloaded, um, unless there's some sort of update. So, here you have a selection of all the cards in, at the moment of this uh, recording, Opus 1. It also has uh, all the promo versions of the cards are available, so that's the promo Sephiroth and the promo Lightning at the bottom there. So there's a very this this is table is very uh, comprehensive. You can sort it by name. There you go. So from A to Z that way. From the set, which is going to be more helpful as more sets get introduced. The cost of the card, the element, the card type. So it's very easy to search for a very particular type of card. It's not a problem. So for example, if you wanted to search, if you wanted to build a wind water deck, uh, what's the best way to find all the wind cards and all the water cards without messing about too much? Uh, so you could go by name and individually look for the one you wanted, etc. Or you can just uh, press element, which is what I do, and it just lists all of the uh, cards by each uh, by each element. So you've got all the dark ones there, uh, earth, uh, then you'll go down to fire, etc. Like that. So you, if you just want to scroll down all the fire cards in Opus One, very easy. Here they all are in one in one place, very easily done. So how do you actually create the deck now? Okay, so for example, if we wanted to make a fire deck and we wanted to select the Warrior of Light. On the left hand side here there are three categories, forwards, backups and summons. Now the best way I find to add to the deck is just uh, hold down on the left click and then just drag it into the category you want. Uh, just note you can actually accidentally put them in the wrong slot like that. Um, obviously the, the Warriors of Light do not belong in a backup or a summons category. Uh, if you do accidentally do that just uh, click on the card you want to get rid of and press the delete key as so very easily uh, so once you've got a card if you wanted to change the number you could go into the card list again and manually drag over or double click that's another option uh, but I don't find it as reliable uh, you can just double click where the number is delete it delete the number and then press the number of cards you want and there we are we have three uh, three copies of that card and all you do is just keep doing this, so there you go, we've got Orans here, we'll put them in, in. we'll put them in, uh, we'll make an Earth, have a couple of Earth backups as well, so it's just simply, it's just that easy. So what happens when you want to save a deck so you can actually play it? Uh, it's very simple, once you've got a deck finished, like uh, this one here, this is my Lightning Ice Controller, which I did a deck tech on very recently, uh, all you do is just go to this deck uh, tab here, and then you've got a load of options, so if you wanted to make a new deck, you could just press new and then it gives you what games you've got installed. I only have Final Fantasy, so that's the only option for me. And you, you, you press save as, and then you should come up with this window, and uh, normally this should be the only, only uh, folder you see. But I have two other folders, just for decks I have in real life, and concept ones which are ones I want to experiment with, but that doesn't really matter. So. All you just do is press, uh, you know, just type in whatever you want. So I'm just going to put in here example deck, and that's it. That should be the deck saved. Uh, you can also share your deck if you press the share deck option. Uh, choose a deck name. So for I'll just put example share here. Press share. Ah, oh, fine. There we go. And this gives you a URL to share. So if you give this URL to a friend of yours or to someone so they can see their deck, your deck list very easily, 
they just copy this into their web browser and then there should be a little download option for them and then they can view it like that. So what if you wanted to load in a deck and so you can actually view it either by a friend's just shared you as I just explained there with the URL or you created one early and you want to view it or edit it just press deck, load and uh, we'll load the example deck that I, uh, I did here. So there we are. That's so easy like that. So now if I want to, I don't know, I don't want any more lightnings in the deck. I'll just highlight lightning. Uh, you can also left click to get rid, rid of them like that. But uh, I just press the delete key, it's just quicker. And there we are. And then all you do if you wanted to save the change is press deck and then save. So once you've finished with editing your deck, what do you do? Uh, once you've saved it, just once you've saved it like that, just press the X here and it just gets rid of the window. If you do try and close the window and you've made a change without saving, it will come up with a pop-up uh, saying, would you like to save? And obviously you should, you should uh, press yes if you want to make the changes. So next time we're going to be talking about how to actually play the game uh, on Octagon because there are a few shortcuts you need to know. Uh, just a bit how the software works because it isn't perfect but uh, once you've had a few minutes with it you should be running away with it so uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys I hope this has helped uh, a bunch of you if you have any questions please leave in the comments below or go to the uh, Final Fantasy fan page on Facebook they're great guys as always they're always willing to help you out so uh, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and uh, hopefully I'll have the second part for you very soon so we can actually talk about the game itself and how it actually works in Octagon. So until then, I will see you guys later. Bye!